This is important. When you go to China, you may very well need to bring a gift, uh, less and less something of high value, but you want to bring something that's unique to you. So when we tell people what to do and not to do, we say avoid the color white because it's a color of funerals. We say avoid clocks because it also reminds people of death. Um, avoid the number four because um, the number four sounds like to die. And, but you can never cover everything. So I did some training for a group that was going to China and one of the gentlemen afterward decided on a gift and their company uh, was from Alberta. So cowboy hats were very popular and their company color was green. So they brought a green cowboy hat and they presented this green cowboy hat to the head of a state-owned enterprise and on stage, gave this to him and didn't realize that a green hat meant a cuckold, a man whose wife is cheating on him. And this, ha this story has become the stuff of legend. And the, the, the gentleman who did it actually came to my cultural training two months later. And he said, I think I still have a lot to learn because I made this really big mistake. But I felt really bad because I never thought to talk about green and hats and, and combined. So what I take away from that story is that as much as we think we can learn about the do's and don'ts, if we have somebody from China on our team, we should always review the gifts with them first.